Awkward Mafia. Hello, Hello internet. internet! Welcome to another episode of Awkward Mafia Watches Lost. I'm Jesse. I'm Christine. Today we're watching Season 1, Episode 7, The Moth. Like M-O-F-F or M-O-T-H? Like the moth. Oh, like a moth. Like a moth. Like a moth. <laughs> <laughs> like one of the moths you hear about. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you? One of them moths you hear about? What moths are you hearing about? <laughs> you know, moths. <laughs> like the concept. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay. The moth man, maybe. <laughs> he predicts natural disasters. What happened last time? Real quick. We learned about Sun. Yes. And her husband, which we still don't know the name of. Yeah. Um, which is interesting. I wonder if they said it and we just both missed it. I don't no. Know. No. No, I'm pretty it sure It is subtitled. <laughs> yeah, they subtitle their Korean when they yeah. t- when they speak in Korean. Well, so. maybe she said it and they didn't include it in the subtitles because they, oh, they do poss- that sometimes. That's possible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yes, we learned more about them. We learned... Uh, about, like, her life. She, yeah. She was... Well, her father was, like, probably some, like, really rich, powerful man and... Um, her husband was a server at, like, one of the functions that she was at, and they f- somehow fell in love, but then the father wouldn't have approved. So, to get his approval, he told her that, or he told the father that he would work for him, and then he ended up working for him in not the greatest way. Yeah, turned out working for him was... Not what he thought it was. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, she wanted to run away initially, but he didn't want to, so... She was going to uh, run away uh, from him, from her husband and the dad. Yeah. But then she decided against it. Yep. So. And look where that got her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But also yeah. the group split up. Yes. Um, That's probably the bigger yeah. important thing, but yeah. Like some people went with Jack to the caves and then some people stayed with Saeed and Kate at the beach. Mm-hmm. So there's that. Also, Charlie has a fan. Yay. Yeah, <laughs> good for him. <laughs> Mr. Lock revealed yeah. he has both his albums and yeah. prefers his self-titled album. Yeah, and uh, well, Lock is now the only one who knows that Charlie was like a is a drug addict. Yeah. Um. I guess he is, huh? Yeah, he's the only one that knows. Also, but he took he took his drugs from him. So, but he got his guitar. <laughs> So that's cool. Which he was saying, like, I would rather have my guitar than the drugs. Yeah. We'll see how that long that lasts. <laughs> but I think that's everything, right? Yep. Yep. All Not right. Uh, Nothing was answered, basically. No. <laughs> Nothing we, was really answered. Yeah. Oh, we found the, um, well, they found the, like, humans in the cave, but. Oh, yeah. That's a new thing. But, but yeah. it's not really a mystery. Yeah. It's more of just introducing the cave. Yeah. Uh, so, let's not waste any more time. Let's watch. But first, you at home, be sure to support the official release. You can watch Lost on Hulu, Amazon Prime, and Disney Plus in Europe. So get your VPN on and uh, check that out. But uh, for us, let's watch. Uh, he's starting to detox. Yep. From drug. <laughs> yeah, from whatever drug it was. How about you and I go for a walk? No. No thanks. Look, I think I'm going to stay in today. Come on. Fresh air will do you good. There's fresh air everywhere, Locke. <laughs> yeah, all the small guys. <laughs> I know. So much air pollution on this island with a bunch of trees. The signal's coming from somewhere on the island. If we can the signal find... has been running on a loop for 16 years, Kate. And the woman that left it, she wasn't rescued. What makes you think it's going to be any different for us? I believe it. Mm. I wish I shared your faith. I was not sharing a few things with her myself. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. (laughs) (laughs) Bye, Felicia. I know, right? (laughs) For real. (laughs) That's so weird. It's been a week since my last confession. Go ahead, my son. Last night I had physical relations with a girl. I didn't even know. Right after that, I had relations with another girl. Then straight after that, I I watched while they had relations.
conversations with each other. <laughs> There's some real temptations that come with the territory. Mm. Well, then I've made my choice. I have to quit the band. Mm. So he's religious. He was. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, it's another door. Where's Lockheed? Yeah. Uh. Hey! He used Charlie as bait. <laughs> you make excellent bait. <laughs> oh, I love Locke. <laughs> He's so funny. It's not giving me my bloody drugs. Oh. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> Where'd Locke go? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a fast walk. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, oh, do you good. So funny. <laughs> Oh, Locke. You're so funny. He's such a riot. I'll let you ask me for your drugs three times. The third time, I'm gonna give them to you. Now, just so we're clear, this is one. Why are you doing this? To torture me? Just get rid of them and have done with it. If I did that, you wouldn't have a choice, Charlie. And having choices, making decisions based on more than instinct is the only thing that separates you from him. Oh, here goes the throat. <laughs> Good job, Locke. Good job. If the French transmission is coming from somewhere within our triangulation, I'll be able to locate the source. But there are two complications. Of course there are. The power cells I've grafted onto the antennas are dry. So we have to wait till we're in position before we switch them on. Well, wait, wait a second. How are we going to be able to tell that we're actually in the right position? We have no way to communicate with each other. Bottle rockets? Thank God for fireworks, smugglers. Now, when I'm in position... <laughs> I'll fire off my rocket. When you two see it, you fire yours. You okay? You're looking a little... I... No, it's nothing. It's just a headache. Charlie, leave it. Go get some water. Maybe you're dehydrated. Charlie, I got it. But take care of yourself, man. We don't need you right now. You are bloody drive shaft. It's the language. I love the band. It's not who I am. Sometimes I just get lost in it. Won't happen. Because I'll be there looking out for you. We'll look out for each other. What brothers do, right? Just promise me one thing. Things get too crazy. No matter what. I say we're done. We walk away. We walk away. Liam. Promise. We walk away. You're the rock card, baby brother. You know, a lot of people look up to me. They respect me. And you, Charlie. you just treat me like I'm some bloody child, like I'm some useless joke. What are you talking about? Charlie's just in the Let's way. Sit down. Put Let Charlie onto that. You, oh, you're going to look out for me, yeah? We'll look out for each other. That's how Charlie, it is. Just calm I'm down, not all right? You're not yourself, right? You now. don't know me. I'm a bloody rock god. Oh, no. How did that happen? Oh. You were shouting? What? Where's Jack? What are the odds of this working? No worse than the odds of us surviving that plane crash. We just ride plane crashes all the time. Not like this one. The tail section broke off when we were still in the air. Our section cartwheels with the jungle, and yet we escaped with nothing but a few scrapes. How do you explain that? Blind dumb luck. We shouldn't have survived. Indeed. I guess that's kind of a mystery. Mm. Like how they survive. Yeah. In a way. Had so many. I think the play had like over 300 people and 48 of them survived. Hey, uh, uh, Scott? I'm Steve. I'm Scott. Well, we got an emergency. Come on, grab a couple of guys and uh, let's go. We gotta go now. Go, go, go. Shannon, you have to be ready to do something really important, okay? Five o'clock sharp. You need to be ready to turn that antenna on over there. There's a switch at the base. The switch is where now? Did you hear a word I said? Can you or can't you do it? Yeah, I can. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, we have to tell Kay about Jack! Sorry, sport. Just missed her. Her and Muhammad headed in the woods about ten minutes ago. Which way? Don't sweat it, amigo. I know which way they went. Yeah, but... I'll tell her. You just keep doing whatever it is you do around here. You get to finally hear the song. I know, right? 
to see his dad take charge. Yeah. There's been an accident in the caves. Jack's trapped in a cave-in. You didn't come here to tell me about Jack, did you? Oh, my stash, look. I can't stand feeling like this. What do you suppose is in the cocoon, Charlie? I don't know. A, a, a butterfly, I guess? It's much more beautiful than that. That's a moth cocoon. It's ironic, butterflies get all the attention, but moths, they spin silk. They're stronger, they're faster. Oh, but you see this little hole? This moth's just about to emerge. It's in there right now, struggling. It's digging its way through the thick hide of the cocoon. Now, I could help it. Take my knife, gently widen the opening, and the moth would be free. But it would be too weak to survive. The struggle is nature's way of strengthening it. Now, this is the second time you've asked me for your drugs back. Ask me again, and it's yours. Look at Locke. Being all wise and <laughs> shit. No wife, I don't understand Chinese. Korean, man. Thank you. Finally, someone corrected you. Korean. I'll do it. For real, Charlie. Harley. Come on now. Ah, damn. Didn't I tell you? Word from the valley is St. Jack got himself buried in a cave in. What? Look at the bright side. Now you have someone else to pity. All right. I say after tonight, we cancel the rest of the tour. What? We walk away. Are you off your head? We're walking away like we said we would if things Walk got... away and go where? Liam, you're killing yourself with this junk. You're destroying drive shaft. I am drive shaft! No one even knows who the sodic bass player is! My shoulder is dislocated. <laughs> what? You could do this, Charlie. Oh, man, it's gonna... Okay, 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 okay. Now. That kind of stuff gets me more than like just blood spewing your uh, yeah. just internal <laughs> bone. Yeah. Ugh. First gigs in Los Angeles. So they switched places. Start, back. Charlie, I don't want to come back. They won't book Drive Shaft without you. You were with me the night I missed Megan's birth. You were the one I was stumbling around dressed and we're trying to find a sodding fix. Oh, man, you're still using, aren't you? Oh, don't change the subject. That's why you haven't been returning my calls. Look, I lost your sodding You're number, still okay? a junkie. You did this to me. It was about the music. You took that away from me. Well, why don't you stay with us for a few weeks? Karen and me, we can get you help. Sydney's got some really good programs to get. Don't go. Thanks for your help, brother. Stay, please. I'm just looking out for you. You never looked out for me. I have a plane to catch. Mm. Right behind you, look, there's a, there's a bloody moth in there. There's light. <laughs> oh, Charlie found a way out. Dude, you rock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Good job, Charlie. Oh, yeah, this is super important. Thing. Yep. <laughs> that, like, everyone just abandoned. Yep. Only Sight has no idea. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. At least she remembered. Sort of. Kind of. <laughs> it's yes! working. Where are you? Where are you?
who knocked out Saeed. If his plan worked. If his plan worked, which it didn't. So many things went wrong and then went right and then went wrong. <laughs> Give them to me. Are you sure you really want to? I've made my choice. I always knew you could do it. Hmm. Ah. Aw. Good job, Charlie. Good. <laughs> Aw. Well, that was episode seven, The Moth. Good job, Charlie. So good job, Charlie. So what'd you think overall? Yeah, it was a good episode. Now now we know why Charlie was heading back to LA from Australia. Yes. Yeah. He was trying to get another record label or record deal, I guess. Ah, uh, sucks. Yeah, his brother's awful. Yeah, like <laughs> he kinda like drove him towards that path and then when he got straight, like just left his brother to like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we don't know all the details. Yeah. They jump forward quite a bit. But, yeah. The, him saying, I'm just trying to look out for you. Him saying, you've never looked out for me. Mm. And the look of his brother's face like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A rock and roll life. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie used to be ve a very religious good boy. <laughs> but he loved music. Yeah, and it, that's why it makes sense that his, like, self-titled debut was, like, or uh, Locke liked it more, mm. because he was more into the music of, than about the, like, lifestyle of it. Yeah, I guess so. That's probably what it is. Yeah. Because mm. Locke even said in the previous episode there was more effort. Mm. Right? So. Mm. Yeah. Probably. Or his brother was more about, like, the fame and the lifestyle, but for... Charlie was more about music. Yeah. And then they switched places because his brother kind of drove him towards that path. Yeah. 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 The bigger plot was, of course, Jack stuck in a cave-in that Charlie kind of caused. I guess that cave was just so unstable. Yeah. And no loud just... noise had ever happened before. <laughs> I mean, it had been like 50 years. Yeah, so a lot could happen in 50 years. That's true. So, and there were only two people in there last time, so yeah, it's like quite possible that. Yeah. Um, but also the whole transmission signal thing. Yeah. That like everyone but Saeed just, you know. Bailed. Bailed on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to help for good reason, but. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Yeah, yeah, Boone left it to Shannon, Kate left it to Sawyer without even really telling him, do this. She just left. Well, because he already knew what to do. Yeah. Cause she kept reminding him. Apparently. And maybe if she told him, he he wouldn't do it, <laughs> kind of thing. I don't know. I think at that point she was like, "Everything else doesn't matter. I'm going to Jack. I don't care." Yeah. But it all still worked out up until <laughs> Saeed gets knocked out. Which brings us to the only real mystery of the episode: Who mm. hit Saeed? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Who do you think did it? Hmm. I mean, the obvious like. I guess, like, uh, not choice, but, like, person would be Sawyer, but, mm. I don't know, Sawyer is, like, kind of a wild card, like, he, he can be, like, kind of, like, annoying and, like, unhelpful when he wants to, but, like, when he, when it benefits him, kind of, or not, not even when it benefits him, but, like, he can be nice, and he can be helpful, it's just, yeah, he's he's just kind of a wild card. So I don't know. It could be Sawyer. It could be him. Well, but... if it was him, then who set off the bottle rocket? By him. True. Yeah. Although, I do like your thinking. Yeah. So maybe... There's a lot of possibilities. How that yeah, like, out. the obvious the obvious choice, right, would be, like, thinking it's Sawyer. Yeah. Um, but actually, yeah, I have no idea. Because, like, that means someone would have had to follow Saeed all the way up there... And known was, about it too. Yeah, known about what they were doing, followed, followed um, Saeed up there. Yeah, so like, cause Sawyer wouldn't have been able to like 
get all the way up there because he was down where Kate was. So, yeah, mm, it, maybe yeah, who, someone from the beach. Who did know? It was uh, Saeed, obviously. Kate Saeed and Kate's... Boone were the three were doing it. Yeah. Then Shannon found out, mm-hmm. and then uh, uh, Sawyer found out. Yeah. But, they, like, Shannon, Sawyer, and Saeed, and Boone were all account, and Kate were all accounted for. Yes. In different places. So it has to be, uh, obviously, someone from the cave or the beach. Probably from the beach. Overheard them explain what they were yeah, doing. Yeah, so the only other person... Mm, the only other person who knows about the transmission, I think, is Charlie. But yeah, obviously he couldn't have. He, the whole episode's about him. We know he yeah. didn't do it. Um, or did he? <laughs> who else have they introduced, though? Oh, Jack knew, knows, too. He wasn't there, but he knows about it. But also, yeah. he was in a cave. <laughs> yeah, and Locke, I think. Wait, was Locke part of that group? No. In fact, okay. the last episode, Charlie almost said out loud he mm-hmm. thought the people in the cave might have been the French team or the French ladies' right. people. Uh, but she said, oh, I, it's someone. Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm getting lost in the amount of characters. There are a lot of characters. Uh, yeah, because the people who sit on the beach, like main characters. Yeah, a lot of them went to Jack's aid. Mm-hmm. Only mainly Yeah, extras. like Michael, Walt, they all went. They all left. Yeah. Boone left. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like, Pretty I don't much, know I think we else. saw every character in this episode. Yeah, I don't think... It's probably a character they didn't introduce. Oh, it could be the dad. His dad. Oh. Hey. Maybe. Yeah. But I mean, because like, we still haven't solved that. Like, we don't know if it's like, the dad is we, alive now. We haven't seen Rose. <laughs> Rose? The the old the older black lady. Oh, yeah. Right. I don't know which, where she's oh, living. Oh, yeah. They haven't showed, yeah, they haven't showed her. Yeah. But the hand was white, so. Oh, we, I didn't notice the hand. Yeah. They showed the hand. Or, okay. like, they showed someone holding the stick, and then ah, the hand was white. So, so Saeed didn't do it to himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm like, well, yeah. Yeah. Cross it out. Uh, also, Michael and Walt, who were accounted for the entire time. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So, could be an unknown character. Yeah, it could be, like, a new character. Or someone... We don't know when things take place, exactly. What do you mean? Well, we don't know if the Saeed stuff was happening exactly... When we saw it in in relation to the Jack stuff. Oh, right. So it's possible someone there ran off to do that real quick and then come back. It is possible, yeah. Like someone who wasn't helping them dig. Or was taking a break at the moment. Yeah. Because they they said four people at a time, everyone else carrying the rocks, take breaks. Yeah. Yeah. So it could have been someone who was at the beach, went to go help Jack, and then left when they took a break, if possible. Because they overheard earlier what was going on. Or they used the, what happened with Jack as cover yeah, to, to disappear for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Who can say that? But it's, it, that's a bigger new mystery. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Who who would have motivation and all that? Anything else of important? Oh, Walt wants to live in the caves. Right. Walt's like, oh, this is a nice place to live. <laughs> yeah. It's cool here. Mm-hmm. And like, literally cool. like... Mm. Hot Korean lady who <laughs> whose husband sucks. I really don't think that. I don't know. My Michael doesn't seem like interested in her like that. I think he's more just interested that like, like about her life, kind of, because he knows that she speaks English now. So maybe he's just like kind of suspicious of her. Sure, but he did see her boobs <laughs> accidentally at yeah. one time. So. <laughs> All right, I guess. <laughs> And Michael seems like a good guy. Yeah. We know he does. Con- he did construction for eight years. Mm-hmm. So convenient. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, everyone's got skills that helps out, except for Charlie, apparently. <laughs> he can play guitar. He can play guitar. And bass. And, and, fit. and fit in small spaces. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he res- he rescued Jack. That's, yeah. It's got to count for something. He's, he's really good at coming out of metaphorical cocoons. <laughs> 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 out the ground. The tiny hole he made bigger himself. <laughs> Uh, it was, I think, a good, uh, pretty smart of Charlie to take the drugs back so he can destroy them. Because mm-hmm. he was like, Locke, can't you just destroy them? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> and Locke, with his awesome philosophy. Mm-hmm. Good back. character development. Yeah, overall, 
good episode. Yeah. Yeah. With answers. <laughs> uh, so, comment section. Are you, do you do construction? <laughs> do you do construction? <laughs> Have you ever been in, in, a, in a cave-in? Let us know down below. That's an interesting story. I was in a cave-in. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not claustrophobic, but I am when it comes to rocks. I, huh. I think it's because I went to, uh, it was like a, a guided tour through cave, underground caves thing, mm. and there was super tiny tunnels going throughout that you can pay f- to go through as well. And I, and they would show it, like, they flash their lights at it to show that people are doing that, and I go, I can't do that, <laughs> that's too much, it's, I'm already creeped out in this cave, and now no space and there's just dirt. I think it's the dusty dirt that get, really gets me, I, eh. mm. I couldn't do that. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm no, not so. really that claustrophobic. <laughs> but like, yeah, in general, like I can be in small spaces. Yeah. You know, I used to uh, fit in the cupboard. <laughs> I would just go <laughs> in the cupboard when I just wanted to be alone, and I would go out like this. But if it's just rocks and dirt, I don't know. Then, <laughs> I, then I'm claustrophobic, and I don't know what's the Maybe difference. Maybe it's not the claustrophobic <laughs> part. Like, it's not the small space that it gets you. It's more just like. The environment like it's dusty and like you don't want to be in that environment too long i mean that is also true mm-hmm. <laughs> but i don't know I, the fact that it's also close space mm-hmm. amps it up for me i don't know that makes me when not doing this <laughs> that charlie was doing <laughs> tun- tunneling like crawling through. crawling through the tunnel yeah he was crawling with the, with the light and the water in one hand and he was just kind of going like, I, was like ah, I can't do that mm. but if it was like a, a vent i can do that <laughs> that's fine <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think it's 50-50. <laughs> I'm just claustrophobic enough that it's bad when it's the in this situation. In the situation. <laughs> I guess that's what it is. I don't know. But yeah, if you've ever been in a similar situation, let us know. Be, if it's a fun story or it's a story you don't mind sharing. <laughs> <laughs> don't uh, forget to like and subscribe. Oh, yeah. That. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.